Mm, excuse me. That was one tasty treat. Ask and thou shall receive. Can one of the undead really quote the Bible? I don't know. There just seems something inherently wrong with that. But anyway, it was requested that I review the Walking Dead series. So away we go. Now, first of all, the Walking Dead series is based off of a graphic novel by Robert Kirkman. Now, if you haven't read any of these in the past, I suggest you really get your butt in gear because they're amazing. And don't worry about spoiling the TV series because after the first book, the books and the TV series go in completely opposite directions in terms of content, not message, which is important. Second of all, the TV series is developed, directed, and produced by Frank Darabont, also known for The Shawshank Redemption and The Green Mile, along with Gail Ann Hurd, best known for The Terminator films and Aliens. Now tell me honestly that you're not already just geeking out about the prospect of The Walking Dead series. Now the first episode, or pilot, is a little over an hour long and mainly follows our hero Rick Grimes in his quest to understand what is going on and to find his family. The episode establishes life before the apocalypse. Rick, a small town cop with a little boy in marital trouble. Lately whenever I try, everything I say makes her impatient like she didn't want to hear it after all. It's like she's pissed at me all the time and I don't know why. Gets called out on a high-speed pursuit. That goes to hell in a handbasket. Rick is shot and slips into a coma. About a month later, he comes to to some mighty big surprises. Dead flowers? A stopped clock? A full beard? A hospital in total disarray? Creepy hands. Elevators that don't work. Piles of dead. And on top of it all, the undead. Surprise! Rick makes his way home to find that his Lord. wife and son are no longer there. and instead meets DeWing. Daddy, Daddy! Carl. And his father, Morgan. Now Morgan takes Rick into his house to care for him and informs Rick of what is really happening outside. Hey, mister, you even know what's going on? Not the ones they put down, the ones they didn't, the walkers. One thing I do know, don't you get bad. Now, Rick also finds out that the government was creating some safe zones in some of the major cities and concludes that Lori and Carl, his wife and son, went to the Atlanta safe zone. Rick takes Morgan and Dwayne to the police station to load up on some gear and take care of some of those luxuries. Pilot's still on. Lord. Rick takes off towards Atlanta and 50 minutes into the episode, we're introduced to the rest of the cast, a band of survivors that are camping outside of Atlanta. We have Lori and Shane. <laughs> Dale and the rest of the campers. Unable to reach the camp on the CB, Rick unwittingly heads into Atlanta.
with dire consequences. Glory, Carl. I'm sorry. Yeah, you in the tank. You cozy in there? In that is the first episode in a nutshell. Now the interesting thing about this pilot is that it was meant to be just that, a short pilot. However, AMC requested that Frank create something that was a little bit more like his movies and was given a larger time slot to fill. AMC immediately ordered six other episodes without the pilot even being completed. The love and care that is put into this series definitely shows. Now the little lifelike details such as the mailbox overflowing with letters, even though this detail doesn't quite make sense to me because you get the idea that Lori and Carl left when things are starting to get bad and this means that the mail still ran while the streets had zombies roaming in them, you gotta love that US Postal Service. Nothing hinders them. Anyway. Little details like that really make or break the reality factor of this film. Now I'm not going to get too heavy into my review as this is only the first episode of The Walking Dead. So until next time, this is Zombie Chick telling you to remember, as long as I'm doing this, I don't have to go hunting for my brains. I'm a domesticated sweet little zombie that gets fed. But if I'm no longer supported by you, that means I'm back on your streets, hunting your brains. I'll see you next time.